Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Maristic. Kylie Jenner talking to her sister, Kendall, about how people treating her. The thing I said earlier, if you know these comments are not going to fit you well, you don't hear what you wanted to hear, which is positive stuff. Oh, she's looking amazing. She's looking fantastic. Stay away from those comments, period, to have a peace of mind. And again, can you just imagine somebody that has fame, money, supposedly beauty, children, are worried about what nonsense people are saying? I, as a YouTuber, don't even have that many subscribers. I am trying to move my way up the ladder. I still find people hating on me. Imagine you are on the face of the social media 24 7 people are gonna always find something to say about you whether it's negative or positive who are you dating how you treat your children where you go with them where you take them listen wake up and smell the coffee not all comments gonna be positive not everybody gonna talk good about you you just gotta wake up and shake it off like taylor swift said and keep it moving you cannot try to please everyone, okay? And of course, look, she's young. And when you do surgeries, when you were that young, you did not allow your body to grow into what it was supposed to be. You're gonna look way older than what you're supposed to be looking like. And that's reality. And I hope young girls these days can stop with that early surgeries. Your body is not done growing. The breast implant, the butt implant, the lip injection. For what? If you are in your 20s and your 30s, let your body do what it's supposed to do. Not any type of advice. I strongly believe a woman is supposed to have a few children. If you're going to get married, get married first before you do anything cosmetic in your body. If it's not medically needed. Let me tell you why. In your teens, in your, let's say, 16, 18th, your body is still growing, okay? Now, after you get married or after you decide to have children, your body enlarged, something happened, something went out of place, something dragging, something not the same. And if you choose after that to have some kind of surgery to bring your breasts up to make sure they're standing in the right place, there is no issue with that. I just like people taking it too far. I'm going to do a separate video because I saw some stuff on YouTube that's really mind-blowing. Okay? Mind-blowing. So let's go with the Kylie Jenner stuff first. And I am going to do a separate video on when people are taking the cosmetic surgery too far. And they are not going to be able to take it back it's already there it's already done the damage already done okay and i am not criticizing anyone to which is own but when you just take it too far somebody gotta say something or you're gonna keep on going on the june 20th episode kylie 26 said to her sister it's a miracle i still have confidence and can still look in the mirror and still think i am pretty the Kylie Cosmetics creator shared that after Paris Fashion Week in September, she got a lot of negative comments about her looks. She said she wanted to do a more minimal makeup look because people tell her she wears too much, but then she's criticized for doing too little. I heard nasty things about myself all the time, she said in a confessional I think it's just after 10 years of hearing about it, it just get exhausting. Girl, stay away from that crap. Stay away from it. It's not good for your psyche. It not, it's not good for your mental well-being. Stay away from it. Why are you reading those things? Why are you listening to them? I mean, you just got to say, damn. I am very successful at a young age, supposedly a billionaire in paper. I don't know. <laughs> Anyhow, you have two beautiful kids, okay? You have the support of your sisters, your mom. The biggest support that you guys have in this family 
is each other, which is amazing, which is fantastic. No matter what's going on, they got each other's back. They like the Kennedys, you know. Those Kardashians got each other's back. Whether it's Cam, Kylie, Kendall, and um, uh, Courtney, Rob, everybody there. They just a family of whatever it is, they got each other's back. So you have that, rely on that and say, you know what? I am good enough. I am pretty enough. I am wealthy and healthy enough. I have my kids. I have the support of my mom, which is the biggest of all. The support of my sisters, my brother. What the heck should you worry about anybody else's coming? I mean, look, you have money. You have fame. People talk about you. If you broke, living paycheck to paycheck, you're going to find broke ass people talking about you. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you do. In this life, people are going to talk about you. Wake up and smell the coffee. If you expected people to say positive things all the way, always, you're not going to get that, babe. Now the internet is like a, a weapon of mass destruction of each other. Because you cannot see their faces. They stay behind in the keyboard, write the nastiest thing they can to hurt your feelings. I, a YouTuber, I would love to become successful, do this full time, make a living out of it. Because I love it. I enjoy it. I love to give my point of view. I love to bring you guys the latest. But I have read some stuff people say. It's like, damn, really? That's how you feel? Are you not that busy? Do you have a job? Because people are going to say something. I'm talking about me. Not in the social media like that. I, I, I don't bring myself like that out there. People still find something nasty, disgusting to say. Whether it's how I speak, how I look, how my hair look. Which I don't give to fly F. I am doing me right now. And I appreciate everyone who's watching, giving their comments. What is nice, nicely nasty, that's how I call it. Or what is really nice. Some people really appreciate what I'm doing and I'm thankful for that. But at the end of the day, you are not going to please everyone. You have, And if you don't know that, I'm sorry for you. If you are expecting everybody to say, oh, you look fine, you're great, you're this, you're out of your mind. You're living in a different planet, okay? I think I am a really strong and I was put in this position for a reason, Kylie said in a confessional. I do think of myself as a confident person, but I am also human and there is only so much someone can take. Our family has been in the industry for a long time, Kendall said counselingly sadly it's something we need to grow tough skin on and i agree with her you have to grow tough skin i cannot let the comments get me down kylie said while pulling herself together i've got s to do for more news listen i know you said it because it sounds good to hear yourself say i have s to do I cannot let the comment down, let me down, but it lets you down by you having to talk to your sister on camera because the comments affected you in a negative way. And again, stop with the surgeries. It's unnecessary. You know, you have beautiful kids with Travis Scott and whatever you choose to do from now on, go on and do your thing. Turn off the commentary section if that hurts you so bad. I mean, geez, you are one of the Kardashian. You should have the most confident there is in the whole world. You have your mom, your sisters, your brother, all the love surrounding you, your children. So what the hell? Why are you worried about what people have to say? Come on. I am living paycheck to paycheck. People still find some crap to say about me. Imagine you a billionaire. You in the face of the social media. They're going to find more crap to say. You just got to know how to live with it. Subscribe. And I hope <laughs> my, my advice will help you. Damn, this lady living paycheck to paycheck, they're talking shit about her and me. I'm a billionaire. They still find shit. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you do, how you do it, what you look like, what you don't look like. People are going to find stuff to say about you. Period. Learn to live with it. You're going to be all right. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye.